recently bought a, a Bayliner 175. It is a 2008 model, a fuel injected three liter Mercruiser. Uh, I'm gonna do just some basic maintenance on it. All the fluids changed, um, plugs, wires, cap rotor, that kind of thing. Um, I did notice that they have a problem with alternators, so I went ahead and ordered a new alternator for it, about $111 off Amazon. Um, kind of funny, you run into problems finding the belt for the alternator. Um, one from Mercruiser is like $40, something ridiculous. So I ended up getting a hold of uh, Gates Fitment Guide and found within a half an inch of the belt that it's supposed to have. Um, some say the 39 and a half, most show about a 40 inch. Um, I found a 40 and an eighth inch. I'll show you here in just a second on part numbers and all that stuff. The original belt, um, it was very loose and smoked squealing that kind of thing so i just went ahead and cut it off um i did measure it just flat with a tape outside top edge measured right at about 39 inches so i'm not sure exactly why the fitment guides say 39 and a half or 40. i guess we'll find out soon enough now this is the original belt and replacement shows them being 39 and a half on mercruiser's site anyways but what I end up getting is a 7395 Gates, which should be darn close. I think there's enough adjustment on the uh, alternator side that we should be good. It is just a hair thicker. I used the micrometer on it. Um, the stock belt is like 9.5 centimeters. And this one is like a 10.2. So it's very, very close. Let's see if I can get a little better picture here. With the width on it. I don't see it being a problem at all fitting in the grooves. I'm sure it'll fit. Oh yeah, we'll get plenty of in the groove. That belt will definitely work as long as my length is good. I've um, been seeing some people complaining about wanting to remove the entire engine bracket. Not necessary. It looks like there is a secondary removable piece here so it should just be these two bolts access it that way uh, these belts on amazon are about eleven dollars a piece and you see i have two of them because for eleven dollars i'm not going to be stuck on a lake so what i'll end up doing is putting the one actual usable belt on and uh, putting the second belt off to the side zip tying it out of the way that way i have a replacement though it's a very easy swap just loosen a half inch nut or half inch bolt slap the new hose on or new belt on if it ever happens to me out there as you can see there's a little bit of bearing noise uh, the new replacement from amazon doesn't have a core so i'll keep that on the shelf just in case one day but i get this thing taken apart and see if it's just as easy as i thought make sure the belt actually fits if so that's a a two for one easily there price wise on getting you a spare that's brand new and not having to worry about it other than one other thing you should probably do is don't be one of those boaters that show up at the lake with just a cooler put together a good tool kit i keep this in my truck anytime i go on the water i take tools with me just the necessities handful of wrenches allens pretty much anything you can come up with metric and standard some wrenches crescent wrenches you know, zip ties, some pieces of wire, electrical tape. Can't go wrong being prepared. So I'm going to use my toolkit to try to do most of the work on this, besides the spark plugs and stuff. But it uh, seems very easy to work on so far. Everything's out in the open. Uh, doing the initial inspection, everybody want to take a look at. <laughs> it looks like uh, the cap came off of the Titanic. It did have a little bit of a surge at idle, so I'm... Um, very confident that it's just the corrosion in the cap on all the terminals that's causing that. But I'll do a little little prep work here. Parts aren't showing up until this afternoon. So I'm just gonna start getting it kind of ready and we'll go from there. I think I noticed the uh, water pump pulley is so close to this mounting bracket you can't slide a belt underneath it. So you're gonna take the pulley off, a couple half inch bolts, not a big deal, a little trick. Get your old belt. Hold it tight, break your bolts loose. They're not very tight. 
um, the two five eighths bolts and that little center section bracket pop right out. So far easy to get this thing out and out of the way, make sure that the belt fits and then uh, I'll take the alternator loose. It looks like there's a bolt in the front and a bolt in the rear. And of course, mine seem to be rounded off from someone at some point, so that always makes it fun, but I uh, get this thing mocked up, make sure that the length's correct before we move forward. The uh, Gates belt definitely works perfect. Part number again. Now uh, you can see from the adjuster, there's still easily an inch and a half of room and it's pretty much tight there. So that's great news. The extra belt, I'm just gonna loop down, and zip tie around, make sure it has plenty of clearance against the lower crank pulley. Um, your water pump pulley doesn't come all the way out because of this bracket's so darn close on that outer rib there. Not a huge deal, loosen it up. You can tilt it out of the way, slide your belts in. Yeah, pretty much straightforward. Let me get this alternator popped off and uh, wait for the new one to show up. Easy for once. Um, half inch bolt, nine sixteenths nut, lock nuts. There's through bolt here, through bolt there. You have three different wires. You'll have a ground going to the base of the alternator. Of course, your charge wire. And then your signal wire. Alternator pops right out. Horribly dirty one. Easy. This thing growls, so definitely a good time to replace it before I have problems. Highly recommend. Stick your bolts back in for your motor mount. Alternator gets here. I'll finish it up. Zip tie everything out of place and uh, take another picture or video of it so everybody can see. New one finally arrived. I'm pretty impressed actually. You know how crunchy this one is. That's how it should be. The exact replica. Wasn't real happy to see the uh, Made in China sticker on it, to be honest with you, but and it is where we're at in life, I guess, these days. Everything comes from overseas. Should work. Get it on, get it tested. Um, very easy install. New alternator was identical, so that's always good news. Uh, two zip ties. Gives the extra belt. If I can get in there. Tons and tons of clearance. So I've got no worries about it rattling around and touching anything under there. Make it easy for next time when I change the belt. Basically what you need is a ratchet, 3 8 ratchet with a half inch socket, 5 8 socket, 9 16 wrench, and you'll need a uh, 10 millimeter wrench or socket for your two wires on the back. Uh, you can see there's still plenty of adjustment. So the belt actually fits perfect. And it's staying nice inside the grooves here. Save you a few bucks on that. And uh, just a side note, I said I believe a 2008 model Bayliner. This is actually a 09. I don't think there's really any difference, but I'll make sure to list that in the description so we know that it's an 09 and not an 08 just in case there is any differences but as far as i'm aware these things are pretty much the exact same long block wise so all the mounting should be the same uh, the older style alternator i believe had just one bolt that goes through it can't be for certain on a three on the three liters but uh yeah if yours looks like this super easy take you 15 minutes to do, no big deal. I'll update on some more pieces when they arrive.